Okay. Why did you tell people you didn't go to the train station that evening after school? I know all the trains ended up being cancelled and you walked home. But we've got you on CCTV ain't we, in the station. Following Tammy Galloway. You told your friends and one of my colleagues that you didn't go anywhere near the station that night. You told them you walked home straight from school. Well, that's not true now, is it? We've also got you on another camera. Yeah. Stood on the platform next to Tammy. You appeared to be talking to her. What was you saying? <laughs> Look at the little hard man. Sitting there in silence. Like, we can play it out like this for as long as you like, mate. Doesn't bother me at all. I get paid to be here. And I can keep you locked up down in the cells for another... Ooh. 18 hours before I need to decide what to do with you. I can finish my shift. Go home. Take a dump, have a meal with the family, play with the kids, watch some TV, take a shower, have a good eight hours kip. Have some breakfast, come back to start my next shift and you'll still be here. Down in the cells, waiting for me so we can start again. Oh. How did you find it down there earlier? You don't like women, do you, Faden? I don't mean sexually. In general, they scare you, don't they? They make you feel inferior. And when you feel inferior, you just lash out. We've seen the way you treat your mum. We've seen the bruises on your girlfriend's wrists and we've heard all about how you were tormenting Tammy Galloway at school for months. No tales of you starting anything with any lads though. That's a bit strange, isn't it? Hmm. The problem we've got with the CCTV on the platform is when the train starts to pull in, everyone on the platform bunches up into a pile on the train and we can't see you and Tammy anymore. We don't know how, what happens next. Hmm. But this is what we do know. You were at the station despite what you claim. And you were walking to Tammy. You were stood right next to her. And when the train pulled in, she somehow ended up under it. We've got a lot of very, very confused, very contrasting witness in statements. So why don't you tell me what actually happened? How did Tammy die? Did she jump? Did she fall? Or was she pushed? I mean, it's pretty damning that you lied about being there. But nevertheless, I'll be honest with you. Personally, I think she jumped. You're a dumb lad. But I don't think you'd be stupid enough to push someone in front of a train. In front of a station full of people. But I have the feeling that even if she did jump, you pushed her mentally. You wore her down. You just won't leave her alone. Even outside of school. We know that's not even the train you normally take home. 
it would take the one heading in the other direction that leads from the completely different platform. So why would you even be stood with Tammy? What were you saying to her? How did she end up getting killed by that train, Aidan? No? Still nothing? Do you know anyone who spent any time in the Young Offenders Institute? They'll tell you it's something of a holiday camp. But the reality is starkingly different. There's no women to push you around for a start. I'll tell you that much. Anyway, that's my shift over. I'm going home. The missus is getting us a curry and I might be able to catch the end of the footy. <clears throat> well, after I get the kids to bed, of course. Seen anything on Netflix you'd recommend? No? Okay. I'll see you in about 16 hours then. Enjoy your cheese and tomato sandwich. <laughs> Sleep well. Oh, actually... If you don't mind, I might have my colleague, Detective Hollis, sitting with us in the morning. I think he'll like her. I know how much you love strong women. Sleep well, my friend. <laughs>